another day another problem so let's solve it hello guys i hope you are all doing well today in this video i'll show you how to solve the problem set matrix zeros before we begin i'll provide some information about where this problem and how to solve it can help you in real world application because many people especially beginners believe that those problems are only for coding interviews but in reality those problems can make you a real world problem solver as an example in data analysis matrix are frequently used to represent data tables to remove a row or columns from the table we can set all the items in that row or column to be zero also the matrix are frequently used to represent pictures and image processing to delete a certain color from a picture we can set all the entries in the matrix corresponding to that color to be zero so there are other skills you can learn by understanding how to solve this problem so let's get started so the problem here is that they give us a matrix as input and they ask us to change the entire row and column of every element in the matrix to zero if the element is zero and also we need to do it in place means we need to do it in a constant space memory and not create a new matrix to store the result so let's say we have this input matrix to solve this problem first thing we do is to calculate how many row and columns we have in the matrix then we loop over the first row and check if, if it's true that there are zero in the first row we store the information in a variable so we can use it later then we loop over the first column and check if it's true that there are zero on the first column we store the information in a variable so we can use it later after that we iterate throughout the rest of the matrix excluding the first row and the first column and we check for zeros if we found that there are zeros we modify the first row and the column and set them as flags so we know where there are zeros in the matrix then we loop over the rest of the matrix again and for every element and base it on the red flags that we have made here we check if either the element in the same row of the first column or the element in the same column of the first row is zero so if it's true we set the element to be zero but what if we have a zeros in the first row or the first column how are we gonna handle this case so we're gonna use the two information that we have made at first when we check if the first row or the first column has zero so if it's true we're gonna repeat the same process and store this information and after we're gonna check if it's true we set the entire first row and then the, the entire first column to be zero and finally we return the matrix with changement made in place that's it guys so let's jump at code in the solution first we initialize two variable rows and columns of the matrix then we initialize two variables that are gonna hold the information of the execution of checking if we have zero on the first row or the first column then we set a two for loops. The first one check if we have a zero on the first column, we set the variable to be true and we break the loop. Then we loop over the first column and check if it's true that there are zeros in the first column. We store the information in a variable so we can use it later and we set a break loop. After that we iterate throughout the rest of the matrix excluding the first row and the first column and we check for zeros. If we found that there are zeros we modify the first row and column and set them as flags as we know where there are zeros in the matrix. Then we loop over the rest of the matrix again and for every element and based on the red flags that we have made here we check if either the element in the same row of the first column or the element in the same column of the first row is zero and we set all the element to be zero. Then finally we use the, the information that we have stored at the beginning of the code means if the first row or the first column has zero we set all the row and column to be zero. Finally, we return the matrix. So the time complexity for this problem is O of n time m, where n and m is the length of and the width of the matrix. And for the space complexity, since we are not using any extra space memory and we are modifying the matrix in place, it's a constant time. 
all of one. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.